Hello, welcome to Qigong with Quiet Owl. Today we're going to do one that's good for the immune system. Um, well, they're all good for the immune system. Um, so you lift up. So you lift up. You sink. No. Let's just start with feet shoulder width. Knees slightly bent. Then you breathe in. in put them out. Come to the with the mouth. Breathe deep into the belly. Down to your feet. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's it. Bring them down and bring them up. Sink. Let the energy come from your head down to the earth. Then we're going to do wash the windows. Tongue to the roof, the mouth, breathing deep into the belly. Moving from the feet, from the waist, and reversing, so you wash in the windows in the other way. Uh, warp, it turns into wave, wave hand through clouds. This toe comes up and it sinks. And this one comes up through there. Bring the hands up, bring it down. Can do one called Owl Looks Behind. So back nice and rounded, arms nice and rounded in front of you, knees, shoulder width, slightly sunk. I'm going to push up off from the ground, look behind. Rising the feet and then sinking. Breathing deep into the belly, tongue to the roof of the mouth. The wings of the owl turning our heads behind us, looking behind.
Bring it down, bring it up, raise up, bring the energy down. Now we're going to do hugging the tree, stand on one leg, so you're moving from the waist, from your feet and legs. Oh, so we go one, two, nice and rounded, rounded in the back, rounded in the arms, put the foot down gently, place it down, ball to heel, and then move, kind of, sort of like you're waving hands through clouds, Send on the legs, sink on your standing leg, nice and rounded in the arms and back, standing on one leg. Under the roof of the mouth, breathing deep into the belly. Now we're going to do inserting incense stick. Put your hands together, prayer posture to the sternum, and shoulder width, feet slightly bent. Breathing tongue deep into the belly, tongue the roof of the mouth. Inhale, raise the energy all the way up to the head, and then sink. Cross your leg, cross your left leg, uh, foot in front of your right one. I'll briefly show you. Like that, and you sort of sink down with a straight spine as much as you can and you hold this like you're catching like a raindrop and then you hold this out the incense collecting the drops of the incense Worry if you don't get down that far, you don't have to go deep into the belly, up the back, down the front, deep into the belly. Now we're gonna do, um, Pulling the boat across the river. Just imagine we're Bilbo Baggins, the dwarves, and we're pulling the rope in the boat across the river in Mirkwood. Now, when you go back, you go back onto the heel. Same with this side. And then you push out. Movement is all from the feet and legs on the earth. Push out.
the other side. Rise it up, bring the energy down, sink, sink. Now we're going to do one good for sleep and anxiety. It's called Rising Dragon. Hand on your lower dantian. We're going to rise up onto our ball of the foot, tippy toe, the ball of the foot, and we're rising up and we're going to follow it with our eyes. Movement is with the waist and the feet and the legs. We're pushing up with the foot the ball of the foot, and then we're going to look behind, getting deep into the belly, tongue to the roof of the mouth. Go and do the other side. Now we're going to do one called uh, for, good for bone, clen uh, bone marrow cleansing. Jade Dragon. Watch. I don't know if it's washes or watches her claws. So this one, put your hand up just a few inches from your forehead. This one, only a few inches from your middle of your back or lower back, yeah, middle of your back. Nice and rounded, sunk into your knees a little bit. And as we turn, you inhale and then you exhale as you turn. You exhale all the stale chi, breath chi out. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to hug the tree, knee slightly bent, shoulder width, we're hugging the tree, which we're going to roll the barrel. So you're moving with a straight spine, and you're just moving from your pelvis. 
clockwise first. You're just moving your upper body. Your b lower half remains still. So you're like rolling the barrel straight back. Oh, clockwise, I'm sorry, I switched. Under the roof of the mouth, breathing deep into your belly. <coughs> Get up. Sink down. I'm bringing chi to the hands. So, feet, shoulder width. Breathing deep into the belly, up the back, down the front, tongue to the roof of the mouth. And you're just going to move the energy down. Moving from the waist, feet and legs. Emphasis is on the withdrawal, not on the push forward. Now reversing, you're going in the outside of the arm. You're petting the under part of a horse's chest. I mean, yeah, chest, uh, neck. Open up. Legs straight, back straight, breathing in, golden light, uh, sinking in, out, open, closed, empty, full. Domo rocks the boat. Put your hands like this, like you're nice and rounded. Nice roundedness. Legs sunk, kind of in a horse stance bent. And just rocking the boat. And then I turn it into, turn the tiger to the mountain. So you rise up onto the ball of your foot, and you rotate the shoulder in, and then you reach up as high as you can, bringing the ball of the foot up, and then this one down, chop, chop. Roll it in, go up on the ball of the feet, and bring it down and sink in the knees. Chris one, the full name for this was Embrace the Tiger and Return to the Mountain. Or maybe it's just Return the Tiger to the Mountain. I don't know.
reverse, roll the shoulder in, go on ball of the foot, stretching up, chop, chop, reaching up and sinking the knees, in deep into the belly, down to the roof of the mouth. Oh, why, why, why the heck not? Let's do cheap punches. Nice horse stance, nice and suck, sunk. And in your fist to the top. Near your breast. I'm going to slowly punch out. Breathing deep into the belly, tongue to the roof of the mouth. And you... Open it. Open the hand. Collect the energy and then bring it in with an inhale. Nice and deep in the belly. Punch. Then the other side. Off to the side. Open the fingers. Make open the hand. Collect the energy. Inhale deep into the belly. Sink. Push and it rises the legs. Going in. Now, I think we can try this one. Rise up. No. Sink. I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> All right. Let's um. Let's uh, do um. Sure. Lion. Lion's jaw so, and feet slightly sunk. Tongue to the roof of your mouth. Nice and rounded. You're pushing. It's like there's force pushing this way, but you wanna pull that way, and then something's pull, pushing down, but you're pulling, so you hold it apart. And then you sink in your left leg. Rotate and sink. Pulse the monkey. And you're moving from the waist and feet and legs, and you're pushing up from the ground. And the emphasis is on the, the yin arm as it withdraws, not on the push. And the movement of the arms comes from the waist and the legs. Tongue to the roof of the mouth, breathing deep into the belly. You want when you come up to this side you stand on one leg this one bent back rounded knee bent nice and rounded Um, so we're gonna do knee slaps. Just bring it up, then slap your knee. Dr. Mingo says at least do a hundred of these a day. Or don't, was it a thousand? Thank <laughs> you.
二三四五六七八九十。Okay. Now this one is called shaking out the coins. Usually this is done like like a during a pause or interval between qigong movements. It's called throwing coins. So you bring up one foot, the hands, and you shake them with your foot. Shake the foot, shake it out. Okay, now we're going to do snake coiling. So horse horse stance, sung tongue through with the mouth, belly breathing. And your movement is from the feet and legs. So you go out. Looks like you're serving the emperor tea, which we'll do next. And there's a teacup, so you want to go in, out. It's like in, out, in, out. In, out. You got it? So you move from the waist and the feet and legs. And it's really the movement of the feet and legs and the waist, which is giving moving the arms. As you go in and out. Lower, as you can see. Okay, I'll do it slow with the legs too. Waist, push, push, spiral, push, spiral. Down, bring it up, bring the energy down. Now we're going to do the um, one last one. Let's see what would be good. Um, Golden Brewster standing on one leg. Okay, let's do that one. So what you're going to do is feet slightly bent, shoulder width, and you're going to lift your leg. And th this one comes up in conjunction with your knee. So it's not the rising of the, the arm with the leg, it's the rising of the leg with the knee. And this one comes down here for counterbalance, nice and rounded. It's like for counterbalance.
Now we're going to finish with microcosmic orbit. Tongue to the roof of the mouth, shoulder width, with your feet, slightly bent. Breathing deep into the belly. Go up the back, down the front. You should do this, try and make this your common way of breathing even throughout the day. So you're breathing, you're in your tongue is the majority of the time is touching the roof of your mouth and you're breathing deep into the belly. Deep belly breathing, not up here, down here. Open, closed, empty, full. In, out. Up, down. Out as you go down. In as you go up. Everything in the universe spins in the microcosmic orbit. All the nucleuses around the... Oh my god. The neurons or whatever. The nucleus and all the atoms. Your tongue was to the roof of the mouth when you were born in your mother's womb. Everything in the mother earth. The earth spins on its axis. The earth goes around... And all the plants around the sun, the solar system spins around the galaxy, the galaxy spins around in microcosmic orbit around the universe. Everything within you, and we are micro, uh, a microcosm of the greater macrocosm of the universe. So when out through the day, it just becomes a, an automatic thing. Breathing deep in the belly, tongue to the roof of the mouth, as you're doing whatever, sitting on the computer, reading a book, driving, without even thinking. In, up the back, out, down the front. Bring it up, bring it down, left over right if you're male, female opposite, but it doesn't really matter. Big circles getting smaller, coming to one small point below the navel. Uh, and then go clockwise. Couple taps. Thank you. This has been Qigong with Quiet Owl. I hope you all have a happy, healthy, and wonderful day. <laughs>